Hey guys, out here at the Cove Wash Trailhead in St. George or Santa Clara. I wasn't originally going to film today. I kind of decided just to kind of do a, an easy ride, especially once I got here. It was like sprinkling, it's cold and all that, but uh, after going up and doing this short loop, it's such a fun little, I mean, it's quick, it's not too crazy. I feel like pretty much anybody can do it. There might be one or two sections that a beginner might have to walk just because it's like a little rock kind of like steps, but I mean, they're like minimal. So anyway, um, out here at the trailhead. So I made the mistake of going the wrong way the first time. So part of my mileage was that, but uh, you kind of park here in the parking lot and then you go that way. So yeah, I'm going to climb up to the top of barrel roll or not to the top. I'm going to climb up barrel roll till you get to a precipice and then I'm going to take a precipice back down here. So, right, really cool. right, so this is just the trailhead sign. You kind of come around here. I'm only going to show a little bit of this because I don't really want to film the climb. But this is mostly what it's like. There are a couple of sections where you have to go up over like little rocks. Uh, to the left is uh, precipice. <laughs> I can't, I don't know why I can't say that. I said it earlier. Anyway, barrel roll is to the right. Barrel roll is actually quite a bit of a, a loop if you want to make it that way. Uh, I think it's just shy of six miles. But this is just kind of some of the rock. Some people might have to walk that. Just pop her in a low gear or high gear. Uh, like I said, barrel roll is a loop. I went up clockwise because I knew I wanted to hit precipice or whatever the hell that trail's called. So, yeah. I mean, you could still hit it, but it'd make a, your loop longer by going the other direction. So, all right. You. Okay. <laughs> So this is kind of towards the top when you're almost close to the trails kind of merging, coming together. You'll see that little marker. And then technically, kind of up here, it's barrel roll. You could, I think it should keep going straight. And then in order to get to precipice, you have to take sidewinder for like a short I mean don't blink because it's it's that short I'll show you guys though I think I gotta climb up this right here and then it's over where those rocks are so catch you over there all right all right I don't know if you can see it over there but this is kind of where we come up to we kind of go over to those rocks and we almost kind of double back there's this trail right here, and that's precipice. Hopefully I haven't been saying that wrong this entire time, but if I have, <laughs> I'll be sure to spell it out there for you guys. I'll probably do that anyway. Okay. So if you wanted to stay on barrel roll, you would go straight. I'm gonna take Sidewinder right here for a millisecond. Gonna come up here. You could turn right there, but I'm gonna go around this way. When I did this this first time, just a few, just before this, uh, I was like, am I back on the same trail I was? This is precipice. It just kind of hugs the mountain here. There are some sharp rocks. Got to switch back. Um, and it is multi-directional, so I would say it's better going down. I wouldn't climb up this. I would climb up barrel roll just because it's wider. But if you are gonna climb it. Look ahead. 
because it's really narrow. It'd be really hard for somebody to stop and have room to kind of get out of the way quickly. Is it, there's a couple of spots up here that are exposed. Trying to make sure I got my camera angle right and not shred my tire at the same time. <laughs> so hard when you sit down and stand up because I don't have a gimbal. Gimbal would normally fix that. I do want to try the gimbal with my with my uh, 7. My GoPro 7. I imagine you'd have to turn the stabilization off of the GoPro. That might make it kind of weird. I don't know. <laughs> Very narrow. I wonder what it looks like on the camera. Probably should be wearing gloves. Ooh, I put my foot down on that one. Makes me nervous with the trees. Because those are like prickly. Better safe than sorry. Especially since I'm riding solo. No dad there. Nice. Yes. This is a cool trail. I'd imagine it's like a two mile loop, if that. It has pretty views. It's really hard to go wrong in Utah though, seriously. I've done quite a few of their trails and I don't think I've ever been disappointed. If you have any questions or like about certain trails, don't hesitate to ask. Seriously, I know what it's like going to somewhere you've never been and you're like, you just want to get the most of it. Especially if you're only able to get out for like one or two rides. You kind of want to like, what's the best? I'm inching ever so close to 1,000 subscribers, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I actually haven't posted a video in a week and a half or so, or more. I mean, it didn't help that I went to Moab, that I've been gone, but my computer totally went AWOL on me. Like I couldn't edit anything. It was super slow. I thought I was going to have to get a new computer, but I kind of reformatted it and I don't know, hopefully it's fixed. <laughs> I'm trying to get through Johnny and I's trip to Phoenix and, and here and uh, then I can get on to Moab. But by the time you guys see this, I, if I go in order, you know, all that will be posted by now. Hopefully, I'll be at a thousand subscribers by then. This trail is rad. I like it. It's got a little bit of everything. It's kind of flowy and technical. And the little the rocks are so cool. I don't know if anybody ever anybody else ever like wonders like especially when there's like big rocks. Like what the Wait. such a good ride.
just finished up that ride. I'm um, going through St. George now, heading back to Mesquite. Because that's what I'm here for, is for an ATV race. So, I'm actually really glad that I decided to do that one. I want to go back out there and... My radar detectors let me know there's a cop behind me. That, that trail was a lot of fun. Barrel wasn't too bad. And then at the end, I when I got back to the trailhead, I actually met a cool group of people. They had just finished their ride and they were joking around. And it was really cool to sit there and chat with them for a bit. But we were talking about bikes, racks. The dude was super funny because uh, one of the other guys in their group was like, oh, she's got that rack too, the one up. And I was like, yeah, best rack on the market. And uh, as I was loading my bike, the one guy's like, yeah, I'm not going to even say anything about that. Best, you know, best rack. <laughs> that's when I knew they were my kind of people. You know, sometimes it's like a stoke level, like a really excited, but it, for the most part, it's just like, God, that was amazing. That felt really good. It felt really good to get out and exercise. It felt good to see like a cool new trail, cool to meet new people. Just all around a rad feeling, and I love that. You know, this weekend wasn't a mountain biking trip weekend. It's a race weekend for ATVs. But when you're that close to St. George, I mean, I bring my bike pretty much everywhere I can, you know, with me, just in case there's the chance that I might get off and get to ride. So, all right, guys, hope you uh, are enjoying the videos. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.